Welcome to the channel guys. Today we're going to be talking about certain things that could destroy your Camaro because of the rain. And these are like fully documented. GM hasn't fixed this. And uh, other of these things are specific to the Camaro ZL1 and some are specific to every single 6th gen Camaro from the turbo fours to the V6s to supercharged V8s and of course the SS's. And you're going to want to check these things. Trust me, you do not want to see how much it's going to cost to get these things fixed. Some people were pretty upset and uh, GM's not going to make it like an official fix for it. So I'm going to make you aware of it so you can kind of check these things on your own. So let's start with the first one. All right, if you got a Camaro ZL1, uh, this is obviously ZL1 a little bit specific, but you want to make sure you got your rain guard on. So we're going to go ahead and pop the hood here. And uh, this is a guard that actually protects water runoff from the hood vent and going into your engine. So yeah, it could cause like uh, water kind of dripping down all over your engine, a bunch of staining and stuff like that. But uh, what I'm talking about is this guy right here. So if you track it or if you took it off because it was hot and you just wanted to go play, put it back on. It's only three bolts, just boom, boom, boom. And this leads the water that drains down into it away from the engine so you don't go and get water all over your beautiful supercharger. It doesn't get on the injectors. It's not gonna cause you any problems basically. Um, so yes, GM says without this, during heavy rain, it could cause damage to the engine. I know people that have run it and not had problems. Uh, but you're kind of playing a gamble there. Just just put it back on, especially if it's raining before you get done so you don't get caught in a storm and not think about it. Right, second thing, now I know a lot of you guys got these on your cars. A lot of you guys got these on your cars. And this is a popular mod that I even suggest and I've even done on my ZL1 right here. So I'm going to tell you right now, if you put this on your car, you're going to be running a risk. And it's... That's what we do anytime we mod, right? But you wouldn't think that this mod has an actual risk to it, but it does. And I can confirm this with GM Techs. GM Techs actually have bulletins that they can look at for these kind of things. And it causes all sorts of electrical gremlins and electrical issues that you really don't want to deal with. And it potentially could cause you a lot of money. So I'm going to make you aware of it before you do it. And that's right here. This is the Diodynamics side markers. And these are like, these are universal across all 6th gen Camaros. I mean, I don't know a person that doesn't have these. So the stock halogens are kind of ugly. So people put in these diode dynamic side markers. They got a nice LED strip. They're smoked. They, they look really good. But what you got to be aware is the connector in it um, can potentially cause some issues. So if water gets in that connector, it'll actually cause all sorts of retarded problems with your car. Excuse the word. And what it'll do is it could cause it to not start. It could cause it to have like problems. Sorry about the water. It could cause it to have problems with starting. It could give you like weird traction control issues. It could do all sorts of things because it back feeds back up to the ECU and back up to the car and it starts freaking out. So believe it or not, there is tons of bulletins about these things and water is getting in these connectors to help GM tech techs troubleshoot the issues that they're coming across. You really wouldn't think that something like this would cause so much issues, but it does and it has. I've talked to GM techs that are aware of this and they've put some evidence up. I'll try to shoot some pictures if I could find some, but just be aware that if you put these, if you put these up, there's uh, there, it's basically like a GM connector that you could put together. Put a ring of silicone on the outside if you like. Um, there's also uh, there's also waterproofing for connectors that you can go ahead and put like on it itself and it might be the best route to do it so that way you really just don't have to worry about it uh, but it can cause you a lot of problems usually only the connector goes bad so usually clean up the connector drying it out and just reconnecting will be fine or replacing these with the actual uh, we're putting them back to the actual normal side markers We'll go ahead and fix the issue, but be aware that this this could actually cause a lot of issues. Assume the risk that's going to come with with having to get a diodynamic side marker, and this is true with all side markers. This is every single brand. Oracle makes a brand. There's a lot of eBay knockoffs and stuff like that. 
If water gets in your connector, it'll feed back up to the ECU. It'll read all sorts of crazy stuff and you'll be in a pretty tricky situation. You may not know how to troubleshoot it. Come here and see if that's what's gonna be causing it. So this next one that I'm gonna bring up to you is all Camaros. Damn, it is raining out here, guys. <laughs> this is true for all Camaros. Uh, this could actually cause quite a bit of damage and uh, really quite a bit of money and GM's kind of wishy-washy if they'll cover it or not. They'll probably give you a little hard time, but it is a well-known issue with the 6th Gen Camaro in this design. Why GM hasn't put up like an official fix, added a clamp, added, I don't know. I don't know what they got to do, but they got to fix it. And I want you guys to like be aware of what this issue is because this, you'll see this a lot on the forums. You'll see us a lot on like, uh, if you follow like the Facebook groups, that kind of thing, you're going to see these kind of issues. And now this is, of course, when it rains, let me show you what I'm talking about and I'll show you some tips to help prevent it from happening. Oh, doesn't she look good today? Just want to go here along the trunk. And once again, this is where it's going to cost you a lot of money, potentially, especially if you're out of warranty, if you don't check this. Now, two things now one as you can tell by the design water comes back here and it hits a seal right under the trunk there's a seal right here that lines your trunk so obviously if there was any water that got in there with that seal you're going to have an actual problem and tons of water when you come driving just sitting outside you could come across this and it's going to cost you upwards maybe like three grand what happens is if your seal is loose or there's another cable in here that could get pinched uh, and you start getting water into that that water will actually drip down into the fuse box back here and it'll blow out the fuse box your car may not be able to start you'll have tons of lights and you'll have to go find either through gm which would cost you a ton of money or go to like a junkyard and get another fuse box that they can put in and replace for you. It's a huge pain in the ass. You are not gonna be happy if this happens. So this is what you can do to make sure it doesn't happen to you. So let's pop this baby. Excuse the mess. So here's that seal I'm talking about. And this. So if this guy right here gets loose, this happens, you can actually kind of pull up on it a little bit. If this gets loose, that'll lead water back into it. If this seal here gets caught kind of gets pinched something like that it could potentially lead it water inside but really it's this seal that we're talking about right here seal so if this gets loose you want to go ahead and just check to make sure it's it's on there nice and tight you can kind of squeeze it just make sure it's nice and taut on there it usually might come around the edges here so you just kind of go and just make sure now it's really up here that you're worried about back here is not going to cause much of an issue just because the normal flow of water right uh, water goes the 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 path of least resistance but, but another thing is is this this little bastard right here so this cable this cable harness that goes feeds out your lights and everything if you knock it a certain way or you're loading it you don't realize it you can actually pinch this between the trunk and the seal and that'll leave a gap right there and what you'll get is the water feeding back down into this and it'll actually come down and actually of course again path of least resistance will end up in your fuse block your fuse block gets powered and now you're screwed people have had so much water that the bottom of their trunk underneath here was actually filled up with water now i live in california and of course we're raining right now we got the whole hurricane thing going on and uh you know we don't often get this but it does happen out here in other places where it rains a lot more you're going to see this a lot more so go ahead and just make sure that this is free you could check it and make sure it's not pinched anywhere or not like fold it you want to make sure it doesn't get into this crevice here and if you do that you're going to be cool so before the rainy season before it goes off and rains go and make sure your seal here is good and go ahead and make sure that this cable is nice and safe that way you're not up for some potential major issues that might come up. This comes up quite a bit, guys, so I want you to be aware of it. You can check the whole seal, make sure the whole thing's nice and uh, uh, placed on there. Personally, me, after owning three Camaros over the past three years, um, I've never had this issue. I don't know anybody with this issue, but I do see it on the forums. Um, you know, I've talked to a couple people that have had this issue actually come up, 
and it could be mighty costly. So obviously just kind of be smart about it and just check it out every now and then. I could tell you on my 1SS, 1LE, um, there was one time I knew about this. So I was like, let's go check. Let's go check that seal. And I went and I pushed it in and pushed in a little bit. So it wasn't completely sealed. Uh, luckily this was during like, this was during like summer months. So it wasn't an issue whatsoever, but I did notice it. So it is a real thing and it can come up. But other ways, guys, I wanted to give you some of those tips about preventing issues with your car in the rain. And as our uh, rainy season fall starts coming through here in winter, of course, just parking your car outside can cause some of these issues. And I don't want that to happen to you guys. I want you guys to have an awesome experience with your Camaros because I absolutely love mine. But it's something you should be aware of. Thank you for watching, guys. This is Hot One LE. I'm out. Peace.